5.30. We've ridden for any excess for six hours in the pouring rain. We've eclipsed 4,000 meters of elevation and I'm dying. It's not done yet. There's a long way still to go. Basically what we're trying to do is replicate the hardest stage of this year's Giro d'Italia, the Queen stage. Stage 16 with 5,700 meters of climbing across 212 kilometers. We tried to recreate it here in Devon, in southwest England. It's pretty and harder than we thought. And I don't think we're going to do it. But to tell the whole story, we're going to have to rewind a bit. Arguably the hardest day of this year's Giro d'Italia is stage 16, including four of the most fearsome mountain passes the Dolomites have to offer. The race first ascends La Crosetta and the Passo Vadai, before tackling the highest point of this year's Giro, the Cima Coppi, the Passo Pordoi, which stands at 2,239 metres high. But that is not all, because after the race ascends the Passo Giao, another 2,236 metre high climb before descending to the finish. All in, 212 kilometers and 5,700 meters of elevation gain. Anyone looking to try and ride a day like this without the perfect preparation and condition would be downright crazy, to say the least. And, well, that could be us. Probably is us. So, I've got that feeling of having no idea where the top is. Got what one bottle? Oh, sorry. Connor, you flaming galoot, what are you doing? Just check my rain jacket on, it's real windy. Have you got the bars? Oh no. What do you mean? Don't tell me. Sorry, mate. Don't tell me you forgot I'll the get them, I'll get them. I gave you one job, Connor! Oh, finally. Morning, mate. It's brisk, isn't it? Big day ahead today. I want to give you an authentic Giro experience today. So I want us to deal with the stresses of the time cut with that monkey on your back trying to make to the next stage. A proper queen stage of the Giro d'Italia. Yeah, it's going to be a tough ask. And I think we're going to need some support. And I did ring one of my old director sportives to see if he could help. Hello, Connor. Yeah, you, you are doing the the stage 16 on, uh, in UK under the rain, on your bike. No, no, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. Remember you following you in a gruppetto during the Giro, complaining every 10 minutes because it was raining, asking for bottles every 10 seconds just to hang on the car. No, 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 sorry mate, I don't have time for that, huh? And? Didn't get any luck. Oh, no. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Have you got any more you can ask? Not really, not at this stage, not so late. What about yourself? Have you called anyone? Well, I, I had a feeling you wouldn't be able to get on hold of any of your DSs, so uh, I made some arrangements on my own, but I'm just hoping we're not going to have to use him. Well, I think at this stage, I think, you know, anyone will do, to be honest. Is that Hank's dad? Oh no, oh no. Oh it is, oh, Hank's dad, morning. Oh no. How are we today? Yeah, oh, good, no, Thank, no, thanks, no. For, do, thanks good. for joining us. Yeah, now it's gonna be a long, tough day, this, with a bit of crosswind, I think. But uh, I know you two can do it. Thank you, though. I've got your numbers. Oh, numbers? Hank, here, your number two. Great. Connor, your team leader. Okay, well, we thank go. you. Well, we appreciate the support. No problem at all. Got my megaphone, so I'll be cheering you from the back. Let's see. Um, well, let's get going, I think. Are we going to have a team talk first? Have you started the, the room? Van. Up by the van. Up by the van, oh, yeah, okay. Let's do it there. Yeah. Team talk now? Yep. Let's go. Let's establish the tactics. I'm scared of what um, next is going to do to us today, oh. really. Oh, no, oh, no. <sighs> okay, boys. Day of days, the Queen stage of the Jura d'Italia. You've got 221 kilometers with 5,000 meter elevation. It's going to be tough. I hope you're up to it. Connor, I want you to take James through this. You've got to lead him, you've got to break the wind. There's going to be a lot of crosswind, so keep close up behind him, okay? Remember, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. 
Connor, just remember also what Nelson said. Hank, I'm Irish. England expects that every man should do his duty. I'm Irish, Hank. You told Hank so much. You guys are just going on with it. Come on, boys, let's stop mucking around. Let's get going. He's taking his duty seriously, isn't he, Hank? Best, best we do what he says, hey? Yeah, better get going, eh? Right, OK, boys, are you ready? We're ready, if we're ready. team talk, it's up to you now. Let's do it. Three, do our best. two, one. Here we go. Two. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 Come on, mate. We set off on course and the route we are aiming to complete today has been designed on Kamut, starting at Woolacombe Bay and finishing just south of Watchet in Devon. The whole area is a national park containing some of the steepest climbs you can find in the UK. Most are one in four gradient and our route cruelly winds through every single one in the area. A unique course with no hill repeats matching the elevation gain of the High Alps without ever going higher than 450 meters altitude. Simply creating such a route away from 2,000 meter plus tall mountains is an achievement in itself, to be honest, let alone actually riding it. Right, we're off our very own queen stage of the Giro d'Italia. We may not be in the Dolomites of Northern Italy, but we will traverse the Exmoor Hills here in Devon, Southwest England, which is an area characterized by innumerable steep climbs and well we'll be tackling 24 of them today meaning we can match 24 yeah 24 so we can match the infamous climbing stats stage 16 of the giro it's gonna be a challenge mate i don't I'm, know if i'm up for it i'm nervous i mean it is impressive how you can match the elevation here away from the italian alps it just shows how brutal this route is going to be. Yep. So we just exited Woolacombe Bay and now we're heading all the way along the coastline. It's going to be brutal, it's going to be savage. Oh, I'm excited though, one. come on mate. Let's do it. Ah! The time cut looms. We can't take it easy. At least we've got RDS with us. I think we're going to hear a lot of them throughout the day. I think we are too. This is going to be a relentless day. So, 12k in, in a Queen's stage of the Giro d'Italia. When does the Gruppetto form? Is it early on stage like this? To be honest, it can be as soon as the flag drops. Really? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of panic in the bunch on days like today. What you don't want to do is find yourself caught out on your own, getting dropped first and being out of the back with no one's shells behind. Then you're in trouble. So what tends to happen is everyone panics, rides as hard as they can until some sort of group forms. And it's a, it's a bit of a deadlock until someone gets dropped and then more people will see they've been dropped and they'll let themselves get dropped, but no one wants to be the first to go. So Otherwise it's a long day. Yeah, so you have to ride hard until some, some form of group forms. So basically what's happened here is we formed our own two-man group. Yeah, that's what we've done right now. So, and then you hear the stereotypical shout of someone yelling, Gruppetto! Gruppetto! But it doesn't actually happen like that in real life. In reality, everyone kind of gives a few grunts and they just kind of accept where they are. You shout Gruppetto when someone's riding too hard at the front and you want the group to slow down. Ah. But anyway, for tradition's sake, I'm going to shout Gruppetto now. Hit because it. We're in this together and we're battling to the finish together. To we survive. are formed our own Gruppetto. Yeah, so let's honour it. Should we do it? Yeah. Three, Gru two, one. Gruppetto! <laughs> ah, yeah. Right then, 210k to go. And we've got Hank's dad somewhere as well. Luckily, we haven't lost him yet. Keeping us fed and watered. <laughs> Not a bad view. Forty-five kilometers in, and to be honest, 
I'm really having a bad day. Honestly having a bad day, just suffering. Nowhere to get a rhythm. Nowhere to even kind of settle into any sort of pace on the climb. Just been groveling from start to finish. Made worse by the fact that Hank is actually going pretty well and he's having to kind of wait for me quite a lot. And there's nothing really I can do about it, so feeling a bit pissed off with myself to be honest. Still a long way to go today. Just had a little stop here after 60k. Um, we've done over 2,000 meters of elevation going already. And I'm gonna be really honest with you, I'm suffering physically and mentally. I think it's almost like brought back memories of when I did the Giro. And we do laugh about it, how hard it is, but it's bringing back memories of you get there and you train your whole life to be there. And then when you get there on these days, you are literally just groveling and suffering at the back, getting a beating. That's literally all you're doing. It's kind of bringing that back to you because you want to do better than that but you're just at your limit and that's all you can do you want to honor the race as well it's part of that too um, so i'm realizing now that i'm gonna to have to draw on a bit of willpower to get through this today and uh, dig in we'll get there but this isn't going to be an easy task look it just turned up thanks dad <laughs> <laughs> we found him where'd you go ds <laughs> bloody technology <laughs> <laughs> the rain has really settled in now so we stop quickly we get our rain jackets from hank's dad and we prepare for another long stint on the bikes in cold and wet conditions this is really tough now it's not just raining it's coming down in torrents we've been on a hill now for the last 15 minutes and it's just getting steeper and steeper and we still can't see the top of it uh, Connor's been slightly left behind by Hank now. We're just trying to cheer him up and encourage him to get those legs going. It's just tough now, tough. Well done, well done, boy. Well done. Oh. Absolutely horrific. I feel like I'm in a jungle and climbs are coming one after the other. We are just about to hit another 20% climb. Go on, don't let Hank get away from you. Move it, move it. I'm honestly doing all I can. Connor's back there somewhere. I think he's really struggling. We're just making this ride almost harder because it's so cold and very wet and there's no respite it's just climb after climb so it's making this ride just 10 times harder so your hands are bloody cold yeah. thanks thanks dad keep it going keep it going Okay, we did say we were racing the time cut in this. So we're basing it off the 29 Giro, 2019 Giro, which I rode, um, because obviously we can't base it on stage 16 because it was unfortunately shortened due to the weather. Although we're having a pretty rough time of it and uh, battling on. But. Yeah, the rain has definitely come in, the temperature has dropped, the wind has come in. So it's not been an easy ride, especially as we're smashing out the, uh, the elevation as well. And I'm on a bad day too. <laughs> and you're not on a good day, are you? <laughs> Oh, no. Which is making it even harder. But anyway, the time I'm going to base this on is stage 20 of the 2019 Giro, which I rode, won by Pelo Bilbao. So to make the time cut on that stage, we'd have had to average 28.4 kilometers an hour, which doesn't sound like much, but with it was a similar elevation gain to today, it's 
tough and we're 80 kilometers in now and we've only averaged 20.6 kilometers an hour yeah we um we haven't been doing too good so we we are not just a little bit behind time but we are way we are out of the convoy behind the broom wagon i think we're beginning to accept that our race to survive is kind of over but we're determined and we're just going to push on and try and make make it really to finish yeah i think we just got to do what we can just keep hacking away we've got hank's dad there for support he's got a van full of uh, supplies and so um i think with a bit of hank's dad's uh, enthusiasm. motivation enthusiasm we might just make it before midnight and a bit of frostbite thrown in as well come on we can do it whose idea was this i'm gonna say it wasn't my idea, but it was. I didn't even see the route. So this is on you, my friend. And we've got to go all the way down there, back up, and then we're off to Pollock, which is a climb that I know really well. Anyway, we've got to... We, you, God, you look like you're dressed for freaking the Arctic. I'm feeling it already, just standing around, so we can't stand around too much longer. Let's get going, mate. Let's get going, dude. Go off, off we go, down, down the hill, and then back up again. As you can tell, we're both very wet, very cold, but we've still got good spirits. The Giro rumbles on, that's what I like to say. The boys are giving it their all, and now the weather's getting worse and worse. Here we are, bottom of Porlock. Porlock Hill. Steepest main road in the UK, one in four gradient, as the sign says. Climbs 221 meters in 1.6 kilometers. As if we haven't had enough steep climbs already. Done this f***ing climb too many f***ing times. Poor Lock Hill, Hank keeps going on about how many times he's done this climb. Once is enough for me. It's literally like a wall. And, oh my goodness. Literally is a wall. Over three and a half thousand meters done. And the walls keep coming. God knows what I was thinking. Here I am, back on Paul at Climb, a climb I did about 37 times, and I vowed I'd never come back. And here I am, over 3,700 meters, six hours riding, and I'm back on this bloody climb in the rain, suffering as usual. Oh. Why is it raining? It's May. But luckily, well, I think Cod is having a rougher time than I am. But still, this is savage. This is the Giro d'Italia, the Queen's stage. So it's fair to say, we've both had our ups and downs. This has been, I guess, a really good tribute to a queen stage of the Giro. The weather's thrown at us, the elevation, the temperature, but how does this compare to the Giro you've ridden? I mean, in terms of pain, in terms of feeling, it's just as painful as the actual stage. In terms of speed, we're just so much slower, and that is mainly because of the terrain, to be honest. These climbs are just so steep. Really, every climb we've done has been 25% gradient, and the descents have been so slow as well. It has been a lot harder than I thought it would be, especially racing the time cut. I mean, we've got 92 kilometers to go now. I mean, we had no chance of making that time cut. We're gone, we're out the back, and it just shows how impressive it is that these riders do it day in, day out. They survive, and you think it's a laughing group, you think it's an easy ride at the back, but it is not.
Connor is really struggling now. I hope he's going to make it. What's the story? 137 kilometers in, and we've done around four and a half thousand meters of climbing. Just at the top of Stoke Perrot, which is the highest church in England. I feel we're getting so close to finishing this off, but we're running out of daylight and we're running out of time, I think. We're out of the back of the, the race for sure. We're not going to make the cut at this stage, but I just want us, I want us to finish this off. This is the last food and drink. Heading up to the highest point. Oh, no. Keep it going, keep it going. Here we go. church is the oldest church. Highest church. This th it's not the oldest, it's the highest church. The highest church in the UK. There it is. Well it's nearly half past seven and I've got to say the visibility is not good. Um, we've got about 150 meters of visibility. I'm thinking we're gonna have to call it a day. We're not gonna make it. This is a shame because they've done really well. Um, I think they've done probably more than they expected. I think the route was very challenging. I've never seen roads like it. Because not only were they steep, but they were steep and muddy and narrow. And there's actually rather more traffic than I was expecting on these country roads here. Uh, they've done tremendously well, but I've got a feeling we're not gonna make the whole thing. So we're gonna have to make a decision pretty rapidly, I think, whether we're gonna continue. The last climb of our day was Dunkery Beacon, an 11k climb gaining 510 meters. It's safe to say we were absolutely cooked and our director sportive pulled us over for a chat. Okay, that was a sad day really to end like this, but uh, I think it's the right decision to call it. It's nearly 8.30 now, and daylight is uh, rapidly diminishing. So uh, I'm afraid we're not gonna make it. And as my role as director of Sportif, I'm gonna call it a day, um, which I'm sorry about, because you were doing so bloody well. I was really impressed. We didn't make the time cut, mate. We didn't make it, we're too far out the back, weren't we? How did it compare to the, the real Giro d'Italia? Just as hard. Just, as, just hard. as hard. But actually, you haven't got a peloton or anything to tuck in behind. You've got no drag. You, two of you going by yourselves. Yeah. It was I'm just. Gutted. Uh, I'm gutted as well because I gave it everything to try and do that, and it just shows you how hard. Well, I've got to say, it looked quite painful at one stage. Wow, we did well. Well, we did well. Thank well you. done, boys. Thank Very you, thanks, Dad. Thanks well for supporting us. That's solid effort. Thanks, mate. What a day. Okay, so that was our attempt at replicating the hardest day in this year's Giro d'Italia, and it just shows you the challenge the riders face in a Grand Tour, and these mountain stages, they really are brutal. I mean, we, we almost managed to replicate it here in the UK. So close! But we just came short, and we just gotta accept that. What a day. Thank you, Hank's dad, for yeah, supporting us. That. I'm sorry we didn't make it. Well, if you think they did well, give them a thumbs up. Where are you going? He's gone to find some more riders, mate. Anyway, leave us a comment down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry we didn't make it. Maybe next time. Just going to get more training. Oh, my back. Well done, boys. <laughs>